Isaac Newton, he said, let's do an experiment, a thought experiment. Let's go to a mountaintop and take the apple and just sort of drop it. Okay, it'll fall to the ground, to the earth, the way it does in his backyard. But now let's sort of fire it from a cannon at ever increasing speeds. So you do that horizontally. So you do this, it'll fall farther and farther away from you. That makes sense, right? Right. So the faster it ejects from the cannon, the farther it will go. We'll just keep doing this exercise. And you keep doing it, and the apple starts following the curvature of the earth. And it, and, 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 and it maybe it falls a thousand miles away, but then hits the ground. Well, how about if just make it faster? How about 10,000 miles away and it hits the ground? Well, let's keep doing this. Oh my gosh, is there a speed where I can eject it so fast that it goes entirely around the earth and hits me in the back of the head? Boomer apple. <laughs> and wait a minute, if there is such a speed and it's about to hit me in the back of the head and I duck, then it will just continue. Nice. So he said there must be such a speed. And so he invents the laws of gravity and, and calculus and all of this, and he figures out that speed. And that speed for Earth is about five miles per second. 